Welcome to the virtual college fair for all Minnesota students sponsored by the Minnesota Association for College Admission Counseling and StriveScan. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters for any, at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of the many different sessions happening. Be sure to check the full at mn-acac.org. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within a week at the same website, mn-acac.org. I'd now like to turn this over to our presenters and have Lacey start it off. Hi there, good evening everyone. My name is Lacey Seafelt. I'm a freshman admissions counselor for the, for the University of Wisconsin Stout in Menominee, Wisconsin. Um, I'm just gonna kick off our uh, little panel today. Um, we're gonna give you kind of an overview of some of the closer options um, with uh, Minnesota. So hopefully if you wanna kind of stay close to home but want a, an out of state option, there's a lot of great offerings right over the border in Wisconsin. And so with me today, I have a couple of other guests, uh, Jake Myers from the University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire, um, as well as Robert Stallion from the University of wisconsin Platteville. So um, the next uh, slide I have for you is just to kind of give you some context of where we're located. Um, if you're not real familiar with uh, Wisconsin, just know that um, UW-Stout is really quite quickly over the border. We're just 45 minutes from like the Twin Cities metro area. Um, UW-Eau Claire is about an hour from the Minnesota border. Um, Platteville is just a hair longer from the Minnesota border being that they're about an hour and 20 minutes. Um, but then you can see kind of where we're all located on this uh, uh, map representation um, to get an idea of like how far we would maybe be from home if staying a little closer to home is your goal. I'm gonna turn it over to Jake now to talk a little bit about um, our reciprocity agreement with Minnesota. Awesome, thank you, Lacey. So if you're wondering what is reciprocity, reciprocity is a benefit for residents of Minnesota attending Wisconsin school to pay tuitions and fees comparable to in-state students from Wisconsin. So if you're wondering where you can apply at, um, all you have to do is go to the Minnesota Office of Higher Education's website. And for any students who are you know, current seniors right now who may have been accepted to either you know, Stout, um, Platteville, Eau Claire, other UW schools, you actually do have access right now to start filling out that application. And then you are able to submit that as well. And so a couple other things that you should keep in mind too is that once you have applied, reciprocity renews annually and is automatically renewed until graduation. So you only have to fill out the form once. And then again, it is open right now. All right, so now we can look at a few examples. Um, so what, if you look at Eau Claire, look at Platform, look at Stout on this slide, you'll see that we have tuition for Wisconsin students, Minnesota, Midwest Student Exchange, you know, for the tri-state initiative, and then some of those non-residents. So if you look at that Minnesota reciprocity, it is comparable to our Wisconsin students. And what you'll find too is that, you know, a lot of these costs for our UW schools is actually gonna be very comparable to Minnesota state schools um, tuition prices. And you'll also find too that a lot of the times Wisconsin schools might have, you know, lower costs for housing, room and board, um, just compared to, you know, the schools that are within your home state. All right, next I'll turn it over to Robert to kind of tell you some of the highlights of our universities. Hey everybody, um, I'm glad everyone is here with us today. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go over um, just some quick facts about all of our universities. Um, so starting with a little bit of a student enrollment, Eau Claire comes in up uh, uh, at the top of the three of our institutions being the largest at um, just over 10,000. Um, Platte, uh, Platteville comes in at the smallest, just under 8,000 at around 7,900. Um, and then Stout is snug in the middle um, with just over 8,000 students on their campus. Um, 
all three campuses have a, a pretty low uh, student to faculty ratio with um, Eau Claire being a little bit bigger than uh, both uh, UW Platteville and Stout with uh, the 22 to one Platteville with a 20 to one and then Stout having an 18 to one at the lowest student to faculty ratio. Um, the, the average class sizes at all three of our institutions are fairly comparable as well, um, with uh, Eau Claire having uh, 20 to 30 um, at an average class size, UW Platteville with 25, and then Stout um, having most of their lectures uh, being an average class size of 23, but then their labs or even discussion courses uh, are snug at a, a 17. Um, the number of majors that the three of our campuses um, offer our students, um, UW Eau Claire offers um, at least 110 um, majors on their campus. Platteville offers more than 50 and Stout offers more than 45 um, with a ton of minors and emphasis on uh, all three of our campuses to really customize that academic experience for yourselves. Um, so some popular majors at um, each of our campuses, first with uh, UW Eau Claire, um, their most uh, most popular major majors on their campus are nursing, business, biology, education, music, and psychology. Um, at UW Platteville, uh, the more most popular majors there um, are agriculture, biology, business, criminal justice, education, engineering, and industrial technology. Um, and then at UW Stout, the top majors at Stout are engineering, art and design, business, psychology, applied sciences, and computer science. And then I am going to turn it back over to Jake to talk a little bit more in depth about UW Eau Claire. Thanks, Robert. All right, so UW Eau Claire, we're considered a mid-sized university, like Robert said, about 11,000 students and 10,000 of the 11,000 are going to be undergraduates, so you really don't have to compete with those grad students for those awesome internship and research opportunities. Um, again, we're known for nursing, business, biology, education, music, psychology. Um, you do see it says undeclared. No, you can't major in undeclared or undecided, but it, about a third of our students start off that way, so we have an awesome advising tree. They'll, they'll help you find out you know some class expiration hopefully you find a major by the time you reach the end of your sophomore year a couple of unique programs we have to offer of course are going to be communication sciences and disorders social diversity certificate one really cool one that we have that not a lot of universities have is healthcare administration so it's really the best of both worlds for students who are interested in, in a business field as well as the medical field and during senior year of that program students get to do a 50-week internship residency where they get paid at minimum twenty two thousand dollars so it's more of an earn while you learn type um, opportunity ha we have for our students. And one more fun fact that I'll point out for all of you is that we actually have the largest marching band in the nation. Currently, we were at around 500 members. So if you are interested in band, definitely recommend doing a visit to Eau Claire. Um, and again, things you want to keep in mind is paying for college. You want to definitely fill out that Minnesota reciprocity form. Know that at Eau Claire, we do have over $700,000 with the scholarship money we like to allocate to our incoming class of freshmen. And if you're looking for a part-time job opportunity at my university, there's over 3,500 part-time jobs. Um, so at UW Platteville, we have, we definitely have a lot to offer. Um, obviously we definitely like to talk about um, our affordable tuition and which Jake had already highlighted. Um, but a couple of um, things that we really like to hang our hat on um, here at UW Platteville, first and foremost, is our innovative hands-on learning environment that we promote at UW Platteville. Um, because of that innovative hands-on learning environment, um, employers love UW Platteville graduates um, when they get out into the workforce because our students already know exactly what they need to do, when they need to do it, and how they need to do it. Um, and uh, a lot of that is due to the fact that all of our classes are taught by um, faculty. There are no teacher's aides or teacher's assistants here at UW Platteville like you would get at larger institutions. Um, so that really promotes that um, professor-student relationship on campus. And your professors will not only teach you how to do something, but they're going to show you how to do it and then have you do it with your own two hands. Um, and with that being said, uh, along with the hands-on learning experience on campus, over 90% of our students participate in at least one internship co-op or experience learning experience um, during their academic career at UW Platteville. Um, so all of that truly ties into why we have been ranked the number one public institution in the country for getting a job after our students graduate. Um, that was on Zippy's list for best co uh, public colleges for getting a job. Um, that came out uh, this past summer. 
We are also uh, the number one best value school in the state of Wisconsin, top 20 best value school in the country. Um, that is based on our ROI, return on investment. So that means that um, the amount of money that you're going to spend to go to school at Platteville compared to the amount of money that you are going to make once you graduate and get that first big boy or big girl job, there's a huge difference there, okay? Um, the average starting salary for a Platteville graduate at EW Platteville um, is upwards of $54,000 right out of college. The average starting salary for a Platteville graduate with a uh, graduating with a STEM degree is upwards of sixty-five to seventy-five thousand dollars right out of college. That's a huge difference and a lot of money for uh, for a twenty-two or twenty-three year old who just graduated college and not a whole lot of student loans to pay back, if any at all. All right, everyone, I'm back. Again, this is Lacey from the University of Wisconsin Stout. Um, the first thing I like to highlight about our campus is the fact that we are uh, named after our founder and not the location in which we are located. So we're actually located in the beautiful historic town of Menominee, Wisconsin. Um, and I know that kind of confuses uh, some students and they ask like, where is Stout, Wisconsin? Well, there's no such thing. <laughs> so we're in Menominee, named after our founder. So I just like to point that out. Um, we have a, a mid-sized university, so small enough to really have that great community feel where you get to know um, people and see people that you know everywhere you go. You get to know that your instructors really well. They get to know you by name. Um, and you will run into people everywhere, everywhere you go that you, that you know, but we're also large enough to offer a lot of the access to opportunities, like uh, close to 50 different academic program majors that we offer and over 150 different clubs and organizations that you can involve, get involved in. So it's really the, um, the best of both worlds in that way, um, being that we have that great perfect size. Uh, instructors really get to know our students well, and they have great like mentorship relationships that develop over time. Um, typically, our uh, teachers are on a first name basis with our students, so I think that's really important to note. Um, UW Stout is the only polytechnic school in Wisconsin and one of the only ones in the Midwest. Just 3% of universities across the country have a polytechnic mission attached to what they do. And basically, that means that we have a particular emphasis on hands-on career-focused learning. Um, which really gets you job ready. You have, you know, both liberal arts skills that you're going to learn in the classroom from critical thinking and complex problem solving, all of those great things that come out of, of the liberal arts education, but you're also going to do it in a very hands-on and applied way, focused on a career that's going to lead to an exciting job market. So Stout just does that really well. We have um, cooperative education uh, a program that's the paid internship program and almost every single one of our majors requires a co-op program. But in addition to that, every single program, regardless of what you're studying in terms of your major, is going to have some interactive and applied learning component, whether that be student teaching, whether that be study abroad, um, whether that be um, those uh, field experiences or research projects, all of them uh, include some kind of experiential learning component. And that's why Stout has such a high placement rate. We historically have always had between um, a 70, or sorry, a 97 to 98% placement rate. Um, our latest data is, is from last year's class is a 97.8% job placement rate. So almost 100% of our students are getting jobs within six months after graduation. So that's like critical, that's huge. Um, we're just, our graduates are in super high demand and we have an excellent reputation amongst uh, industry leaders. So I think that's a really important thing to note as well. Um, some of our largest programs, yes, we're a flagship engineering and a flagship art and design school. Those are the two things that are like most most come to mind when people hear the name University of Wisconsin Stout, but we also have huge programs in our computer science area and certainly our applied science area if you're interested in like biology and chemistry and physics and so forth. Um, but the other thing that uh, UW Stout excels in is some of the more unique programs. And so about half of our majors that we offer aren't offered at any of the other University of Wisconsin system schools. Um, and so we just have some unique things going on, like our hotel, restaurant, and tourism management program, um, or say video game design and development, or interior design, um, or our packaging program, or our plastics engineering program. I mean, some of these programs are one of only a handful in the whole country. 
Um, so Stout's got some really exciting, like unique things that we offer. Um, of course, like the other schools, we offer that Minnesota tuition reciprocity rate, um, but Stout also has an e-learning program, which means that you would get two laptops during your time uh, at our university, and you actually get to keep one of those laptops when you graduate. It comes with four to $6,000 worth of software that's accessible to you too. So no matter what program major you're in, you're covered with all of the technology that you need. Um, and then textbook rental is also included in the cost of your tuition and fees. So we really make things very affordable for students by having all of those things included so that you can use your, of course, financial aid to help pay for those things. And you, it keeps your out-of-pocket expenses really down low. Um, so I really want to personally invite you to come visit campus. It's great to just come and see it for yourself. Um, so you can visit www.uwstout.edu slash visit to see our whole visit schedule. We have a lot of different offerings between our preview days and our regular daily visits that we have Monday through Friday. So um, there really are a lot of options for you to choose from, um, but come and check us out. All right, everybody. So next up, what you really need to do is start to apply. Um, so the best way to do that is to go to apply.wisc.edu. Um, you can see that right there on your screen. Um, it is the UW system online application. Um, what some of the things that you are going to need um, when you are applying is a copy of your transcripts or a high school course information so that you can upload that with your um, online application. Some other things that um, you should note to have ready on hand um, is a list of your extracurricular activities um, and a list of your previous employment um, if, if you've had a job prior to your uh, application. Okay. Um, your essay. So uh, the majority of the UW system schools um, require an essay. The three of our institutions do require an essay. Um, but that's truly your um, time to tell us things about yourself that the application can't, right? That's where you're able to really fill in the blanks for us um, and really paint that picture for us of yourself. Um, so tell us about your academic and personal achievements, um, what you have learned for, uh, from your successes and, and or your challenges, and how will this influence you as you pursue your college education, okay? Um, some optional items um, for your uh, application are a letter of recommendation. And I know um, it's different for each campus um, for platinum. So um, typically we will only want a letter, we will only need a letter of recommendation um, if we actually reach out and request that of you. Um, and then um, your ACT or SAT test scores. Um, a lot of institutions, especially within the UW system right now, are test optional due to COVID-19. And so here's what that means for you. Um, if you were not able to take the ACT or SAT, um, due to COVID-19 uh, because it wasn't available to you or you and your family weren't comfortable um, sitting to take that test, that is okay. We will give you an admission decision without that test score. If you were able to sit for the ACC or SAT and you got your score back and you liked what you saw and you felt like your score would help you get admitted and help you gain some scholarships, feel free to send those scores to us. Um, if you sat for your ACT or SAT and got your score back and didn't like what you saw, and felt like your score would not help you be admitted or help you get some scholarships, that's okay. Hold on to that score, please. You do not need to send that to us. And with all of that being said, um, once again, my name is Rob Stallion. I am an admission advisor, uh, multicultural outreach specialist, as well as an assistant men's basketball coach at UW Platteville. Um, Jake Myers is an admission advisor from um, UW Eau Claire. And Lacey Seafield is an admission advisor um, from UW Stout. Um, does anyone have any questions for us or were there any questions in the chat while we were going through our presentation? Um, okay, Jeffrey Vang asked, oh, was that already answered? 
Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I heard that if you were a biology major, you also will take physics and chemistry and that those are required to take if you are trying to go to medical school. Um, I can't speak for UW Eau Claire or UW Stout. However, um, I can't speak to if those are required to go to medical school, but those are definitely classes that are required um, to finish a biology degree on our campus. Um, it's just another one of those upper level science classes that students within our biology program have to um, complete before they graduate. Um, Jake or Lacey, would you like to chime in about your campuses and in regards to that question? Sure, yeah, so we have a pre-med program and we would have the requirements that are standard for your entry into medical school. And so um, I don't believe that there are, are physics, I mean, there might be a one physics class, but I don't think it's real in-depth. I think most of them are core biology classes that you'd be taking for that, just to make sure that you've met all the prerequisites that you need for med school. It's been a little while since I've looked at those requirements, but um, I don't think they're necessarily required everywhere you go, um, but it would be worth digging in a little bit to making sure that um, you're meeting the prerequisite requirements for your medical school program because there's no such thing as a pre-med major, right? Typically you're in a biology major or you're in a applied science major with a focus on biology or like we have a biochemistry program, whatever the case may be. You're just um, also at the same time in that pre-med track um, where you're maybe working with an, an additional advisor to help get you into med school following your bachelor's program in one of those hard science areas. Yeah, I agree with what Lacey said. Same thing at Eau Claire, you have the pre-med track. Um, it's not to say you couldn't major in like history and go into pre-med, it's just kind of odd that you would. It's more so designed for taking one of the science fields. Um, and, you know, if you're looking into med schools right now, looking to see what, you know, they are requiring of you. Because then, you know, if, if they are requiring students to have knowledge or pre-knowledge of physics and chemistry class, then that's something you definitely would want to take during your undergrad. Absolutely. Um, so we had a question about um, in-person visits on our uh, campuses. Um, UW Platteville is open for on-campus visits. Um, we have uh, visits Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Um, uh, no visits on Wednesdays. However, on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, we have three visit slots um, each of those each of those visit days. Um, Lacey, Jake. Yep, UW Stout is open for visits right now. We have our daily campus visits, um, three sessions per day. We are keeping them small, right, because of COVID safety protocols and all that. So um, there's a nine o'clock, 11 o'clock or one o'clock session every day of the week. Plus we have um, these large scale events, large scale where like, we'll have a few more families join us um, for our preview day events. And so there are um, some an art and design specific preview day. There is an engineering specific preview day, a business specific preview day. And then we also have some, some more gen general ones for all the other majors um, that you might be interested in. Yeah, and with Eau Claire, um... Monday through Thursday throughout the rest of the semester and going into the summer, we'll have a 10 a.m. option as well as 1 p.m. On Fridays, we've got a 9 a.m., 11 a.m., then 1 p.m. And then we also have select Saturdays throughout the semester as well. Awesome. Um, so there's a question in the chat about um, Eau Claire's and Stout's top business program. Would you guys, uh, Jake, you want to chime in on uh, Eau Claire's top business program? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, at Eau Claire, we actually have within our business program an accreditation that only 5% of schools have um, worldwide. So, you know, we definitely know our game when it comes to business. We're very well known for business administration. We also have a graduate program for that. Um, otherwise, entrepreneur program is pretty popular. Finance, accounting, as well as marketing are going to be some more of the popular programs we have within our business field. Lacey, you want to talk about Stout's uh, most popular business program? 
Um, our most popular, well, we have a number of very unique business offerings, right? As I had indicated with our hotel, restaurant, and, and tourism management program and our real estate property management program. But actually, our most popular is the business administration program just because it's a pretty broad-based program, right? So um, you, you have a lot of different career offerings available to you. So we have um, an accreditation for our business program. Um, and it is actually one of our largest programs on campus. Um, again, I think that uh, just excellent employment outcomes for our students because of our cooperative education or paid internship program that you can participate in or you will participate in as a student. Um, so it really is just an outstanding program. Um, we have a question that came through and I love this question. Can you discuss scholarships at your schools? Um, so let's go ahead and, and tackle that one um, live. Uh, I'll kick us off. Uh, yes, I, I can speak for all of us. We all have great scholarship programs. Um, Stout in particular has the foundation scholarship application, which is one application that you submit and you might be eligible for a bunch of different scholarships. And that is recurring. So as a, a sophomore, a freshman, you can apply, but as a senior, sophomore, junior, senior, you can also apply through the foundation program. You know, as I was, I was once a Stout student, right? So in my four years at UW Stout, um, I received six scholarships through the foundation because some years they gave me two. So it's a very, very good program um, because of just the, the number of scholarships that we have available. Um, we also have our scholarship guarantee program, um, which is an automatic scholarship for students that have a 3.0 GPA and a 22 or higher ACT. However, there's going to be some changes. So if you are a current junior um, and then looking at uh, applying to Stout next year in your senior year, look for updates to that program because we are going to be restructuring it a little bit so that that ACT requirement um, is maybe no longer in place just because if our admission process is set test optional, it's kind of difficult if a scholarship requires an ACT. So um, just uh, keep eyes on our website, maybe in late summer for updates to that program. Awesome, yeah, some scholarships to talk about at UW Platteville, first and foremost, our most uh, popular and prestigious scholarship is our Chancellor Scholarship. That is a full tuition and fees paid scholarship for four years. Um, we do award 10 of those a year. Um, and that deadline is December 31st of your senior year. Um, another notable scholarship application is our new freshman scholarship application. Um, and there are well over 200 scholarships uh, within that available within that a new freshman uh, scholarship application. And I honestly believe I'm being very conservative about that number. Um, however, a very easy uh, application process, one application fill out that um, uh, application in its entirety hit submit and um, you will automatically be applied for every single scholarship that you qualify for. Uh, we also have some merit scholarships as well. Um, those have recently just been adjusted uh, um, to reflect um, a, an optional ACT or SAT. So you can head over to our website, uwplat.edu um, and click on the paying for college tab um, and the chart um, for the qualifications for our merit scholarship is on that page. Um, and then last but not least would be our um, Pioneer Pledge that we recently rolled out last year. Um, that, um, that is something that is available for students as well. So you should be able to check that out on our, on our website. Um, Jake, did you wanna talk about some scholarships at Eau Claire? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so I mentioned earlier, um, each year we have about $700,000 worth of scholarship money we like to allocate to our incoming class of freshmen. Uh, we have two deadlines for scholarships. So the first one is going to be December 1st, um, then the second one will be February 1st. So as you, long as you apply before those deadlines and you meet the criteria of either A, having a 25 plus ACT score, as well as having a 3.5 GPA, you can apply. If you don't have an ACT score on file, then we just go strictly off a of GPA and then that GPA would have to be 3.75. Um, but those are specifically just incoming freshman scholarships. Once you come onto campus as a current freshman all the way to senior year, um, you don't really have to compete with that whole student body anymore. You just apply for scholarships either within your department, some are regional based, and usually there's a little bit more easier to come by. Thank you for that question though. That's a great, great thing to cover is scholarships. Do we have any other questions that you have? 
the last one that I'm seeing is uh, for Jake to talk about is whether or not Eau Claire has a front line for their marching band. This one's yeah. a tough one, Jake. Um, awesome question, Mitchell. I'm going to actually send you a direct link to our band page, and I'll also include a video of our marching band so you can see them perform live um, on YouTube. So I'll send you those links real quick. So I hope you were able to jot down our contact information. That's why we left that slide up a little longer for you um, so that you can reach out to us personally if you have any follow-up questions about our specific uh, institutions that we uh, work at. And we're very happy to help wherever you are at in the process, whether you are you know, a sophomore or junior still trying to figure things out, or maybe you're a senior last minute trying to figure out where to apply to um, and start coming up this fall. Uh, we're, we're all happy to help with wherever you're at in the process. I see a couple more yeah, questions, for sure. questions trickling in. I love you guys. Great. Um, so uh, should we start with this more, first one? Yeah, if you qualify for more than one scholarship or only one. So at least at Platte, those uh, scholarships are compounding. Um, Lacey, you want to tackle that first out? Yeah, you can, you can qualify for more than one different scholarship. Yeah, same goes at Eau Claire. Um, and a lot of time you'll find that all the scholarships are renewable too. And then, uh, what if I want to play softball in college? How do I meet the coach and the players? Um, I guess as a current NCAA coach within our uh, conference, um, I, the best thing to do is um, reach out via phone and email. Um, and then in that email, obviously introduce yourself, contact information, um, parents' contact information, your high school coach's contact information, um, and then send us some game film as well. Highlight films are great, but um, game films really, game film, full game film really gives us, uh, tells us a lot about a player. Um, it's when things are going great and when things are going bad, uh, we want to be able to see it all to see, you know, the totality of you as a, as a person um, out on the field or court. Um, and then um, set up a visit um, with our admissions office. Um, you know, let the coach know that you are um, going to be on campus at what day and what time. Um, and know at least uh, for Platteville, um, we have uh, direct communication with our athletics program. So um, when we have a student who is coming on campus and they have inquired um, within our um, uh, visit form that they want to meet with one of our athletic programs, um, we send a message to our athletic department, um, to that head coach directly to let them know so that, you know, uh, you know, John Doe wants to come and visit campus and they will uh, want to meet with you and their visit will be over at uh, such and such time. Um, and our coaches are really great about being able to meet those prospective students and prospective student athletes. So tell them about their programs and show them our facilities and everything that we have to offer and what it means to be a pioneer. And it runs very similar at the uh, other youth schools. Um, so similarly at at Stout, you'd want to get in contact with the coach directly, um, and we'd be happy to have you on campus. Talk to you a little more about our teams. Yep. Thanks, Megan. Great question. I sent you a link to our coach recruitment form. Um, Leslie Huntington's the softball coach at Eau Claire. She's phenomenal. So just fill out the form, and they'll be in touch. Yeah, Becca Lau's the head coach at UW Platteville. She's been doing some really good things with our softball program there. Um, but I know Lacey kind of was going her, doing her spiel on the way out the door and reintroducing herself. Uh, I guess I can do the same. Rob Stallion, admission advisor, multicultural outreach specialist, and assistant men's basketball coach. Um, our visits are open, uwplatedu slash visit. Sign up for an on-campus visit, a virtual visit um, as well. Uh, that virtual visit does come with a virtual tour. We do have a virtual tour on our, on our website that you can kind of poke around campus and hear a message from the provost and things of that nature. Um, and then you can also sign up for a virtual academic meeting. Um, those are offered um, Monday through Friday at one o'clock. Uh, but you'll see those times available um, on the calendar um, that'll pop up on the screen after you choose the academic visit. Um, but that really gives you a chance to sit down with uh, someone from our academic departments and ask some more in-depth questions about, um, you know, what kind of classes you're going to be taking. Um, 
uh, in order to graduate and what kind of jobs our students are getting after they graduate. Um, and then our uh, application opens uh, for next uh, next fall, uh, August 1st. Um, so be on the lookout for that to open up. I don't, Jake, you any more, I don't see any more questions coming in. So I think that is a wrap. I think so. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining us. We might stay on the line for a, a few more extra minutes in case you have any final questions. Thank you so all much for joining us. We very much appreciate your time here. There is a quick survey that we'd love for you to take. Um, it's just four short questions. Um, please sign up for more sessions. Check out the schedule at www.strivescan.com backslash Minnesota backslash. And uh, once again, our recordings will be available in about one week um, at the same place that you registered for this session at strivescan.com backslash Minnesota. Thank you again, everyone. Thank you to our presenters. And we hope everyone has a wonderful evening. Thank you for being with us.